Now new tonight, the Department of Justice is investigating after classified documents were found at an office once used by President Biden. These classified records are from when he was vice president. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with all the details. Dick. Well, Maurice and Christine, the White House counsel says that on November 2nd of last year, before the midterm elections, lawyers for President Biden were cleaning out office space when they discovered the documents marked classified in a locked closet. They stopped the work and contacted the White House. The classified documents were discovered in this building in Washington at the offices of the Penn Biden Center, a think tank set up after President Biden left the vice presidency. A source familiar with the matter tells CBS News the classified documents are small in number and were found in November in a box among unclassified material. Sources would not characterize how sensitive the documents are. Was this just a colossal mistake or was there intent behind bringing them there and keeping them there? Was there willful retention of classified documents in a place they weren't authorized to be. So uh, we don't know the answers to these questions yet. Attorney General Merrick Garland has directed Chicago U.S. Attorney John Lausch, a Trump appointee, to investigate. Tonight in Mexico City, President Biden ignored questions. Any comment on the document, sir? The Justice Department is investigating former President Trump's handling of classified documents. After the FBI sees some found at Mar-a-Lago, President Biden was critical of Trump on 60 Minutes. How that could possibly happen? How one, anyone could be that irresponsible? Republicans say many questions need to be answered. Joe Biden left the vice presidency in 2017. So it's taken six years for these documents to surface. That is incredibly concerning. But a former federal prosecutor says in this instance, the documents were voluntarily turned over. It indicates a lack of intentional conduct. It's completely different from the Mar-a-Lago case, uh, which tends, based on reporting, to indicate there was intentionally uh, activity to take those documents. Now, the White House Counsel's Office says the National Ar Archives took over possession of the classified documents the day after they were found. The U.S. Attorney's Review is almost done, and then the Attorney General will decide if a criminal investigation is warranted. Maurice and Christine.